very good afternoon to all of you and particularly of course to the speaker to Alex Maskew who I've known for a very long time and for whom I have great admiration and um, I do wish you all first of all a very happy Easter uh, and also it gives me the opportunity to reflect on what happened 25 years ago and its significance uh, because I can't actually be with you in person today, but it's great to be given uh, this wonderful opportunity to be able to talk to you all. The first thing that I, I think I should mention is that a lot of the people who worked with me in 1997-98, of course, sadly, have died. And I'd like particularly to make pay tribute to, uh, to Mo Molan. Uh, I was Mo's deputy at the time as Minister of State uh, for Northern Ireland, to uh, Martin McGuinness, uh, to David Trimble, to John Hume, to David Irvine, and others um, who played a huge part uh, a quarter of a century ago in producing the Good Friday Agreement. And I really can't underestimate the significance of um, those men and women uh, who gave so much of their energy and wisdom um, to creating what was, after all, one of the most historic agreements in modern times. Uh, I had gone to uh, Northern Ireland the year before in 1997, when the Labour Party had won the general election and Tony Blair had become Prime Minister. Uh, things weren't in any way easy um, from the summer there in 97, right up until almost the time of the Good Friday Agreement itself. There were some awful things happening, a number of terrible murders, as you know, um, and I really wondered after Christmas 1997 whether we would actually achieve any sort of agreement because things had slowed up and there were always the difficulties which we had faced for many years. But as it happens, because uh, the great George Mitchell had decided that there'd be a deadline for um, Good Friday 1998, for Easter, uh, that we worked extremely hard. And the last week, was to say the least memorable and it wasn't really I suppose until the very end of uh, that day April the 10th 1998 till about five o'clock that we actually thought we would achieve what we had set out to achieve over all those years of neg negotiation and those achievements which all of you know were very real indeed it, it ended effectively uh, the 30 years of the so-called Troubles. It uh, brought in the new institutions. It made huge differences to policing, to criminal justice, to equality, to human rights, to language. Um, and of course, it made some very controversial decisions, including the release of prisoners. But all of those issues, controversial and important and significant that they were, were ultimately voted on by the people of Northern Ireland and of the Republic of Ireland. Um, and people overwhelmingly supported this agreement, despite the fact that it was quite difficult for some people to accept. Inevitably, in any peace process, um, people had to make compromises. And the great compromise of the Good Friday Agreement was that it brought about the principle of consent. So the people of Northern Ireland themselves will decide upon their constitutional future. And none of that happened by accident. It happened because of years of negotiations, years of uh, people having to make those sort of compromises, but ending up with an agreement which was undoubtedly, as far as I was concerned, in the you know, half a century now that I've been involved in public life, was the most significant thing that ever happened to me. And I will always remember 5, 5.30, uh, April the 10th, 1998, on Good Friday, a significant day, um, that uh, the world changed for us all, including, and above all, of course, for the people of Northern Ireland themselves. We currently face very difficult uh, circumstances, and I hope and pray that within the next number of weeks or months, we'll be able to see the restoration of our assembly and the executive the North-South bodies, and the full operation of the institutions of the Good Friday Agreement. I really do hope that's going to happen. 
and that everybody will do their best, particularly because it coincides with this 25th anniversary, uh, to be able to ensure that that happens. Because ultimately, all this is about the future of the people of Northern Ireland, particularly, of course, the young people. Um, and we forget that a quarter of a century is quite a long time ago, and that people now in their middle age will barely remember the signing of the agreement. But the fact that they, we have had 25 years without terrible violence, although, of course, there have been some examples of that, but generally speaking, without that, that we, we've had peace in Northern Ireland and that we, we've had prosperity. Let's make sure that continues. And I wish everybody uh, this afternoon all the very best for the future. Thank you very much indeed.